Okay, what we're getting to hear is that the Delhi High Court is all set to pronounce an order at 2 in the afternoon on the Congress's plea against recovery proceedings and freezing of funds by the Income Tax Department. Uh, in fact, the High Court had also pulled up the Congress and had made rather stern remarks uh, asking, were they sleeping all throughout until 2021? This is what the High Court had said. Uh, but now we get to hear that, uh, that the court will now decide and will make a judgment at 2 in the afternoon. So that's the big news coming in and a very crucial one coming in and this after the Supreme Court in fact gave a very crucial judgment as far as the electoral bonds now the High Court also uh, pulling up the Congress party saying that why are they asking all these questions now and were they sleeping till 2021 that judgment is going to be pronounced at 2 in the afternoon this is uh, on the Congress's plea they're against the recovery proceedings and freezing of funds by the IT department. Uh, that's the news that we are getting to hear. So we'll have to just wait and watch as to what really does the High Court have to say once it pronounces its judgment at 2 in the afternoon. Ananya joins us for more on this. Ananya, over to you. Just tell us a little bit more about this. The, the High Court coming down rather heavily on the Congress party saying that they were sleeping since 2021 and why are they now making this plea? But what can we expect? Well, definitely, uh, you know, Mantika, uh, the Congress party had knocked the doors off uh, the Delhi High Court after uh, denial by the ITAT for staying there, uh, either the recovery proceedings that were initiated by the IT department. Uh, remember that the clear argument the Congress has been giving before the ITAT and, in fact, the Delhi High Court as well was that, you know, this is a move uh, that is uh, coming just right ahead of the elections and uh, it is to curb uh, the, uh, the the largest political party from actually contesting the Lok Sabha post. This is a murder of democracy. What the Congress had said. However, the IT department had dubbed all of this, uh, those claims by showing the papers that, you know, these recovery proceedings were initiated since 2021. The IT department had been asking them to pay this particular, to pay the particular amount, the particular dues of um, the income tax uh, from 2021. And they're just crying foul because they don't want to pay this money. And that's the reason why they say, uh, and peddle this false narrative that, you know, uh, and in fact, the High Court yesterday, when it was hearing uh, the particular matter, this is a division bench of Justice Yashwan Tabar. Um, headed by Justice Ashwant Varma, which is actually, which was uh, actually hearing this petition, right. had said that were people in the Congress office sleeping until 2021, and uh, not only that, that um, there is a bad shape of the Congress office, and that that needs to be fixed, and that's the reason why. In fact, uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to yes. what the, uh, the Delhi High Court would be saying, whether it would be allowing them uh, a relief in this particular case or not. Absolutely. Stay on with me. Pallavi Ghosh also joins us. Pallavi, this was a notice that was issued by the Income Tax Department uh, over dues amounting to 100 crore rupees. What does the Congress Party have to say in their defence? Well, the Congress has been making, uh, first of all, it's a very big setback for the Congress Party because according to the Congress, this has just frozen their money. And I remember this word, it came out on a Friday. It was at that point of time we had spoken about the fact that they're going to be moving the high court. And top sources in the Congress Party had told us that our apprehension and fear is that over the weekend, since we would not be able to go to court immediately, our money would be taken away. But the Congress's argument is that, first of all, does the IT tribunal does even have any right to look into the returns which have been filed by the Congress party. Second, the Congress has been giving some of the money back, 20%, 25%. So this kind of a pronouncement coming in from the IT tribunal is absolutely incorrect. It is, it is, uh, uh, you know, it, it is a breach of uh, the norms and this is just a case of political witch hunt. So those are the arguments which the Congress party has been carrying forward and especially when they decide to approach the high court. Obviously, uh, the plea which has been given by them that this is going to have very dire consequences because we are not going to be left with any funds. How do we pay our salaries? How are we going to carry on the work of the Congress office and the Congress headquarters? There are also elections round the corner. So this is going to be the strong argument where Congress has been putting forward. In case the High Court verdict goes against the Congress party, you can be rest assured that the Congress party will once again start attacking the BJP, accusing it of systematically and selectively targeting the opponents. But they have already been wrapped by the Delhi High Court, Pallavi. I mean, those tough questions being asked to them that what were they doing all this while? This case is in, uh, happened in 2021. Those uh, notices were issued then. And uh, even the court uh, holding them accountable of not handling this matter responsibly, not handling this matter in a correct fashion. 
Absolutely. In fact, what finance ministry sources had also told us when this case had first come up in the IT tribunal and that uh, notice was given to the Congress party, this is before they went in the plea to the IT tribunal, was that there was a 1200 crore rupees which was pending. You pay that amount of money and after that, of course, you can access. There's no freeze on the bank accounts. This is what the government sources have been telling us. There's no freeze on the bank account. You can deposit the cheque or any money you're getting into your account and also withdraw. But first, you have to pay that money which everyone has to pay. All of us as citizens also owe money and our income tax returns. You're expected to do that. This is your financial year closing. These procedures will have to be followed. If the Congress party has not been doing it over the last couple of years, then how can you blame the government and how can you also blame the IT tribunal? In fact, Ananya, that option was given to the Congress party that pay 20% of the demand. Uh, but uh, according to reports, they hadn't even done that. Is that why the income tax department was left with very little option but to approach the court? Well, definitely, this is the, something uh, that had been uh, the bone of contention before. In fact, the ITAT and the Delhi High Court as well, the, it was said, and it, uh, I quote Mr. Zoe Hussain, who had told the court and the ITAT that, you know, uh, the Congress party was uh, initially given that offer to pay 20% and come in an appeal uh, 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 over that particular freezing of accounts and also uh, those recovery proceedings. However, the Congress party rejected that offer. And yesterday, when in fact uh, the, the, the Delhi High Court was actually reserving its order, it asked the IT department whether that offer still sustains or not. The IT department said that since it's too late, uh, the, the uh, ample opportunities were given to the Congress party. This offer does not stand now, is uh, what Mrs. Zoe Bussain appearing for the IT department had submitted. But very, very clearly and categorically, both the IT tribunal, the, the appellate tribunal of the income tax, and in fact, the Delhi High Court has one thing in common to say that it is the fault of the Congress party because they did not uh, work on it since 2021. Right. They had been continuously receiving notices from the IT department and these recovery proceedings are something. Uh, in fact, that uh, Mr. Zoe Bussain also appearing for the IT department continuously said that these are not uh, a political witch hunt. These are regular proceedings. If these continue with any other SSE, even if it's not the Congress party, even if it's you or me, if we don't pay these dues for nine to ten months for an year or two years then such proceedings can also continue against us as well and this is no uh, you know discriminatory or uh, you know single-handedly choosing right. and picking somebody it is just normal uh, the procedure that is being adopted by the IT department. All right, so we have to wait and watch as to what really happens at 2 in the afternoon when the High Court is going to deliver its judgment in the IT uh, income, in the income tax case. All right, so allegations, counter-allegations happening just before the elections. And speaking of the elections, well, you can tune in for our mega opinion poll just ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Don't forget to tune in to CNN News 18 today at 6 in the evening for our mega opinion. Opinion poll.